Hi, my name is Esau Keep Money. We send our DIY face in Dylan Minkler Baron Arbor. You can call me Cindy Minkler. And I am the November artist of the month. I started playing when I was probably about five or six. I could play by ear, start hearing things. So I started playing the piano. There was a piano in the room where we lived, and so uh, in the living room, I just kept playing the piano. Probably about 11, I started playing trumpet, and I got really good at trumpet. I started teaching myself, and then my mom started um, teaching me a little bit. And then um, by the time I was eight, I was in formal you know, piano. I think when I started giving concerts, adding my culture in it, I really started um, enjoying that. I started using the drums, um, the hand drums, I started using the flute. Then one time I played down in San Francisco for the American Indian uh, Film Festival, and I got to meet all these Native American actors, and that was so great to meet all these people that I've seen on TV, you know, then you see them. And I introduced my first uh, piece about Wounded Knee and my impressions of Wounded Knee down there. So that was, that was just a good weekend. I remember practicing eight hours a day for my senior recital when I did my first degree. And I just skipped classes and I just practiced my little heart out. And of course, we had grand pianos, concert grand pianos to practice on. We had really nice quality instruments. So I just kept doing that. I, I switched from being a professional musician and a music educator to a music therapist. And it's taken a while to learn how to do all that, but I'm at the tail end of the program and I'm just going to spread my wings very, very soon. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to that. And I chose this because I know that I'll retire in, in this. I won't have any other jobs. And I, I just know that that's the way my life's going to just go like this from here on. Not because I have a degree, but because I just I have more knowledge of how to help people through music. Well, I was going through my midlife crisis when I was 20-something, and I thought, I really think I want to do music therapy, but my professors were telling me, no, you should go into music education, you'll get more pay, and it's not as known on the West Coast as it is here in the, in the East Coast and the Midwest. So I thought, well, I don't know what to do, but I'll go look at music therapy, and I went to Willamette University and spent a weekend there looking at uh, music therapists. And then I put it aside, I thought, okay, it's a back burner project, I'll do it later on in my life. So about 30 years later, I decided, um, right in the middle of a classroom I was teaching, and all these kids were playing. And they're singing and dancing, and it's all these behavior challenge kids. And I was looking at them dance, and I thought, okay, these are behavior challenge kids. And yeah, look how positive. They're dancing, they're not getting in trouble, they're not angry anymore, they're not having meltdowns. I need to do something different with my life. And right then and there, in the middle of the classroom, I thought, that's it, I'm going to go into music therapy. So I just uh, got in my little car and tweedledeed all the way down here. So. I started playing the flute uh, probably in the 90s or so, and I, I didn't know how to play a flute. I just know that I wanted one. When I started embracing my culture, um, I knew that I had to have a different expression besides the piano. And I had already had drums, I had been making drums, and I went to a powwow, saw this flute, uh, 25 of them all lined up like that. And I looked at all the flutes and I picked them up. I didn't even know what I was doing. I just played them all. And I got to this one that was right here. And before I even picked up the flute, I went like this and I, that's electricity. <laughs> I don't know, it's happened to me several times. This electricity just went in my hand and up my shoulder. And the man behind the counter just looked at me like, whoa, I've got a huge vision about you. And I said, well, I must, 
um, this must be the flute that I need to play. Because he had made all 25 of them, but this one was the one that chose me. But then um, as my music is just gone, I started playing my own songs and songs that would reach me. Songs, something that happened that I had to more than observe, I had to experience. And then I wanted other people to experience the same, the same joy or the same sadness, but it ended up being an expression. So music has definitely been an expression for me, not just for myself, but for other people. And now music therapy is just, it's kind of like the final icing on the cake in my life. It's going to help people to heal. I've got the music background now. I've got getting the skills. Uh, the last few years I've been here, and now I just need to get the job and go out there. And I'm willing to work with anybody. You know, I hope I work with kids. It'd be great. I'd like to be, you know, self-employed music therapist eventually. So, let's see into my life. Mm -hmm. 